In today's health alert, the autopsy report of three-time Olympic medalist Tori Bowie revealed the star athlete died from complications due to childbirth. She was just 32 years old and eight months pregnant when she was found dead in her bed last month. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here to talk about these complications. And Dr. Nandy, the autopsy report cited possible respiratory distress, uh, eclampsia, this is such a sad story. Can you pl please explain? Yeah, it really yeah. is, right? Tori Bowie was a fantastic athlete, yeah. once the fastest woman in the world, right, Glenda? To hear that she died from complications from childbirth was just, to me, heartbreaking. And the autopsy report now shows that Tori was in labor at the time of her death. However, this elite athlete was not intending to have a home birth, according to her agents, so it sounds like the baby was coming early. As for conditions that may have led to her death, respiratory distress and eclampsia, both can be very serious. Now, so respiratory distress means that her lungs were probably having trouble exchanging air and she was having difficulty breathing. Any complication can result in respiratory failure. However, it should be noted that respiratory failure is rare and affects only about 0.2% of all pregnancies. Now, as for eclampsia, this is a serious complication of another condition called preeclampsia. If you develop preeclampsia, during pregnancy, that means you have high blood pressure, excessive protein in the urine, severe headaches, swelling, shortness of breath, and blurred vision or light sensitivity. As for eclampsia, that's when a person with preeclampsia can develop seizures. Symptoms can include shaking, confusion, and disorientation. Very serious and requires, requires emergency medical care as it can lead to coma, stroke, or even death. So eclampsia affecting about 3% of people with preeclampsia, and studies are showing that black women uh, face more cases of preeclampsia and eclampsia. Why is that, and what can we do about it? Yeah, it's really shocking, I'll tell you, that yeah. the U.S. has more women dying during delivery, Glenda, or shortly after childbirth than any other developed nation. Not a good statistic at all. And black women are three times more likely than white women to die from a pregnancy-related complication. As for why this is happening, several reasons like discrimination, poverty, and poor care. To me, all of those are unacceptable and unethical. That's my opinion. Now, what, mm -hmm. what should women really watch out for, right? Well, eclampsia, preeclampsia does not always come with noticeable symptoms. Usually the first signs are found during prenatal visits when blood pressure and urine levels are checked. The good news is that if you have preeclampsia, it can be managed but needs careful monitoring and medications to lower blood pressure. That's why it's imperative that women regularly see a healthcare provider. Having said that, if you're pregnant, you notice any sudden weight gain or swelling in the face or hands, maybe signs of preeclampsia. And if you suddenly develop severe headaches, this is important, blurred vision or severe shortness of breath, get to the ER as soon as possible. It could save your life. And here's the thing, right? People need to see their doctor when they're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Lots of people say, I'm fine, I'll be okay. And you may not be. And in this case, we lost a life. Yeah, and the saddest part about it is those reasons for that lack of care are social. They're not medical. Exactly. And, and, That's and hurtful. We, and, and exactly. And we need to fix those. And, but if you have the ability, go see the health care provider so we can prevent these tragedies. All right. Dr. Nandy, thank you. Appreciate you. My pleasure. You. Of course. And if you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.